Merhabalar, ben Sercan. Welcome back to your Turkish journey. Today, we are going to learn how to say there is and there is not in Turkish. This is going to be very easy for you. To say there is or there are, we use the word var. Var. And to say there is not or there are not, we use the word yok. Yok. It is that simple. Var and yok are also used to mean I have and I don't have, but we're gonna cover this topic in another video. Today we focus on there is and there is not. Var and yok, they are both nominals. And as you see, there is no plural version of them. Basically, var means something is existent, it exists, and yok means it is not existent. Var and yok are placed at the end in regular sentences. If you want to say there is a flower over there, we say orda bir çiçek var, orda bir çiçek var, and if you want to say there is not a flower over there, we say orda çiçek yok, orda çiçek yok. In general, when we want to mention the existence and non-existence of something, we tend to mention the location of it. Therefore, most of the time, when you see var and yok in a sentence, you will see that the locative case suffixes will also be used in that sentence. For example, internette milyonlarca sayfa var. İnternette milyonlarca sayfa var. Güneş sisteminde sekiz gezegen var. Güneş sisteminde sekiz gezegen var. İstanbul'da bir sürü tarihi eser var. İstanbul'da bir sürü tarihi eser var. Sokakta birkaç çocuk var. Sokakta birkaç çocuk var. Evin önünde üç tane köpek var. Evin önünde üç tane köpek var. Hava alanında banka var. Hava alanında banka var. Evde kimse yok. Evde kimse yok. Buzdolabında hiç içecek yok. Buzdolabında hiç içecek yok. Maalesef dolapta kahve yok. Maalesef dolapta kahve yok. Bizim evimizde televizyon yok. Bizim evimizde televizyon yok. Bu kitapta resim yok. Bu kitapta resim yok. Bu caddede trafik yok. Bu caddede trafik yok. As you see, in all of these sentences, there is a locative case suffix that is attached to the location of the object we are talking about. But of course, you can also form sentences without mentioning any location at all. Like this. Bu soruya cevap yok. Bu soruya cevap yok. Now, I would like to draw your attention to this sentence. İnternette milyonlarca sayfa var. İnternette milyonlarca sayfa var. In English, there are millions of pages on the internet. Unlike in English, when a noun is used with a numeral or a quantity word, the noun does not receive the plural suffix in Turkish. Milyonlarca sayfa. Milyonlarca sayfa. As you see, the word sayfa does not receive the plural suffix. Therefore, we do not say milyonlarca sayfalar. We say milyonlarca sayfa. And this is always like this. Another example. Güneş sisteminde sekiz gezegen var. Güneş sisteminde sekiz gezegen var. 
8 planets. In Turkish, 8 gezegen. 8 gezegen. The word gezegen does not receive the plural suffix. Another one, sokakta birkaç çocuk var. Sokakta birkaç çocuk var. As I have mentioned at the beginning of this video, var and yok are nominals. They are not verbs. Therefore, they can be conjugated with the copulative verb. We have already covered the copulative verb and its tenses in the nominal sentences in Turkish video series. I'm leaving the link in the description if you want to take a look at them. Here are some examples. Masada, kalem, kitap ve silgi vardı. Masada, kalem, kitap ve silgi vardı. Bu problem geçen sene de vardı. Bu problem geçen sene de vardı. Önünde artık hiç kimse yoktu. Önünde artık hiç kimse yoktu. Onunla benim aramda eski bir dostluk vardı. Onunla benim aramda eski bir dostluk vardı. Dolapta 100 lira varmış. Dolapta 100 lira varmış. Yarın yağmur varmış. Yarın yağmur varmış. Vakit varsa yürüyüşe gidelim. Vakit varsa yürüyüşe gidelim. Cüzdanda hiç para yoksa önce bankaya gidelim. Cüzdanda hiç para yoksa önce bankaya gidelim. Now, let's take a look at a couple of more examples. Tecrübeli insanları dinlemekte fayda var. Tecrübeli insanları dinlemekte fayda var. In this sentence, the locative case suffix is attached to dinlemek. Dinlemek. Dinlemek means to listen as an infinitive verb. But here, as you will know, technically speaking, dinlemek is a verbal noun. The verb stem dinle receives the verbal noun suffix mek. Tecrübeli insanları dinlemek means listening to experienced people. Tecrübeli insanları dinlemek. Since dinlemek in this sentence is a verbal noun, so basically a noun, it can receive the locative case suffix which is one of the noun cases. One additional way that you can use yok is while speaking with small children instead of using imperative. For example, as parents, we would love to use negative imperatives while speaking to small children. Don't do this. Don't go there. Don't touch that. Like this. In Turkish, when you want to say, don't touch this, we say, buna dokunma. Buna dokunma. Dokunma is the negative imperative conjugation of the verb dokunmak for the second singular person. Dokunma. Instead of saying buna dokunma, it is also possible to say buna dokunmak yok. Buna dokunmak yok. This would literally mean there is no touching this. And in this sentence, buna dokunmak yok, dokunmak is again a verbal noun. So basically, it's a noun. For example, when you cross a street and you want to tell your child, elimi bırakma, elimi bırakma. What you can say is, elimi bırakmak yok. Elimi bırakmak yok. However, in such cases, we do not form the sentences with var. For example, instead of saying elimi tut, elimi tut while crossing the street, we do not say elimi tutmak var. Elimi tutmak var. We don't make such sentences. No, this would not work and we don't use that. Okay, let's finish today's video with this Turkish saying. Ölmek var, dönmek yok. Ölmek var, dönmek yok. Which means there is dying, there is no turning back. 
This proverb is often used to express determination, courage, and a willingness to face risks and challenges without looking back. Once a decision is taken, there is no way to go back. The only option is to go forward, no matter what the consequences might be. So, this is the end of today's video. Thank you very much for your time. If you have any question, please let me know. See you in the next videos. Görüşmek üzere.